Okay, so I'm mounting this B-square scope mount onto my Mossberg 88. And the only things you need is the mount, the uh, pin here that's gonna, I'm gonna remove this screw from the inside and I'll put that on. And the screw that goes on the back and it comes with a set of tools. So let's see how that works. It's just basically to tighten this from both sides and a screwdriver. So first things first, I guess you guess you could use a punch as well. I don't really think it's necessary, but I'm just going to punch out this retainer pin. I don't know if I can get my fat fingers on it. There you go. So that's one. And then the screw comes out here. Let me if I can get it. Sorry for the shaky camera. I have this new camera mount just to make it easy. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. There's the other pin. I'm going to slide this mother jammer on. And they only give you one option for threading this through. So regardless if I wanted to put it over on this side or not, I kind of fucking doing it. So so there we go. Tighten that down just a little bit. And then I'll push the screw assembly through here. Let's look and see what that looks like. I can pass this. I think that's the. All right, give me a second. I'm just looking at this here just to make sure that this part is secured, secured properly. wrong this one oddly enough oh, let me see if I got it here to install let me just look here and make sure I got everything correct B square special ejector screw you know what that means. Uh, I think I screwed the pooch on this one. And this ejector screw actually goes on the inside, but we'll see. I bet you that's it. Let me just verify. Both look like this thing. So basically, put it on this side here. Aha! Figure this bitch out. So, let me get this here and lined up. And then that ejector screw goes on the inside of that thing. That's pain, kind of a pain in the ass with fat fingers. Jesus. There we go. Wow. That is unreasonable. So I'm just going to thread it through here. That seems to be the uh, same thread count as the ejector screw. So, I'll tighten this down. And it seems to be pretty much 
the same height as the original. And then I'll drop this down and I tighten this on. Okay, sorry, it's a learning experience, right? And then should be able to slightly tighten this down. And that's good to go. And I'll just tighten this one again. Now that that's all in. And let's go ahead and give me a sec. I'm gonna pop around in here. So the ejector works, everything seems tight, that rail's on there, and it doesn't really add a whole lot extra encumbrance on there. And the thing I like about it, and it's kind of hard to show you on camera here, oh, look at that. move this over, there it is, when I look down the barrel, I can still see my side picture. And that's a good thing because I can put this. Oh, sorry, <laughs> stupid thing. I can still put this uh, this green uh, reflex sight on, and not worry about losing my my regular sights, my fixed sights, right? So, personal personal um, request is that if you ever want to put the gun back in its original order and everything, you might want to keep a hold of these two things. Um, I don't know if everybody's always going to want this fixture. And if I ever decide to sell a gun, I could probably break even on it and it'd be a wise idea to be able to convert it back. And it's the same thing I'm going to do with my um, adaptive tactical pieces is just make sure I have the original magazine tube and everything. So that's basically how you install it. Seems kind of shitty that this uh, video is about five or seven and a half minutes long just to have me put on a dinky thing like that but at least you know how to do it